Good afternoon, everybody. The Irish Demon back with another video. Today, we got a lady who comes into court with a really strange name on the screen, and the judge picks her up on it straight away. Now, this lady is so entitled that she believes that she should never have to pay for her own rent. She makes the argument that it's everybody else's fault except her own. Good afternoon. Are you Carrie Haney? Yes. Uh, you come in as Grinch 74. That means there were 73 Grinches before you. <laughs> I mean, she does kind of look like the Grinch. When you come into court, you might want to consider what you come in named as. I had terrible experience last year. Um, but I'm a little better at it than I was. I also have a telephone number. I'm not sure who that is. Anyway, let's call this case. It's entitled Riverside Townhouses versus Carrie Haney. Uh, Carrie Haney has filed a motion for temporary relief from judgment and an ex parte order to stay proceedings. Rather than issue the order ex parte, I set it for hearing on short notice. I've been on vacation for two weeks, but I was in here last Tuesday. And last Tuesday, I asked the clerk to set the matter for hearing this afternoon, and she squeezed it in here. Uh, Samchit Hart is here on behalf of Riverside and their new manager, Lori Casino is here. This matter goes all the way back to April or March, but we had a hearing on May 16th. Uh, Amy Lucas was here from Keystone. They were working on having a check. We were here again on June 17th and uh, we made a finding that the rent due was 3,961. We did a judgment which was due June 27th. Now here we are on the 25th of July. Ms. Casino, yes. has Riverside received any money from Keystone? Now, just to explain briefly what Keystone is, in this particular area, it is a community-based charity that assists people in paying their rent if they fall in hard times. Simply applying for it does not mean that you don't have to pay your rent. Also, they're not under any obligation. If they run out of money, they got nothing left to give you, and that seems to be what's happening at the moment anyway. Keystone should only be kind of used in rare circumstances when you really need the help, and definitely should not be looked at as a long-term opportunity to get free rent. But that's not going to stop this entitled Karen. Not that I uh, You broke up. You've received no money from Keystone? No. We have not. I emailed Keystone and asked them to join the hearing a while back, a while ago, and I haven't heard from them. So someone assisted you, Ms. Haney, with filing this pleading. Who helped you? Legal aid? No, I did it um, online, but my... Sierra application is still processing, it says. According to who? On, on my, when I go and check the status of it. Have you talked to anybody? I just got the email with the phone number this weekend, so I was going to call today. Well, all right. Ms. Hart, what's your position here? Your Honor, we would object to um, any additional time given to Ms. Haney. Uh, the judgment was after a hearing, Your Honor, and the time has lapsed, um, not only for her to pay and stay there, but she didn't file the motion until the 29th. Um, there is no defense um, to setting aside the judgment. Uh, it's been more than 30 days since the application for Sarah we'd ask for the judgment to stand, Your Honor. Ms. Haney? Yes. Let's pretend we're in a court here and you're talking to me rather than whoever is in the room there with you. They want you to move today. They're ready to do an eviction tomorrow. Uh, and they're asking that I don't grant your stay. Uh, they just ask that don't. Be... See? Let him talk. Um, I'm sorry. What do you want me to know? Um, I just got another thing in the mail from Riverside. What? Last week sometime? 
that I had on 30 days or something, something like that. And then I owed another 2,900 and something dollars. It wasn't even like the same amount that I got originally. Well, it goes up as months pass. Well, let's but it's back gonna up. go up though, because my rent should be zero. That's what I'm not understanding why it keeps adding up if I don't pay rent. What level of entitlement does it take to think that your rent should be zero and that it's everybody else's fault and everybody else's responsibility but your own? Now, the program that you signed up for, you would have easily been told that it's not guaranteed. I get it. People fall on hard times. We've all fallen on hard times. That doesn't mean that you can just sit back and say, ah, oh, it's all good. The community will cover it. Now the chickens come home to roost and you're getting all ratty. Your rent was $765 per month, two on the first of each month. Nobody ever told me that my rent was that amount. When I first I, moved in here, it I was $88. In court, apparently you didn't recertify or something, but we had a hearing. You were here. Yes. Um, we and had then the I... first hearing, just a minute. We had the first hearing on May 17th. I adjourned it for 30 days from May 17th to June 17th, 31 days. Yes. And we had a hearing at that time and I made a finding that you owed $3,903.61 by June 27th or you were subject to being evicted. You were there, I explained all the circumstances to you. And I you understand. Have paid, and Keystone oh hasn't God. paid. So they were ready to evict you and then you ask for this order to stay it which has been an additional month and they're asking that i deny your motion and sign the writ of eviction i have it here in front of me well it says that if my app sira app was still in processing i could do that who says that the law thing that i pulled up on the thing. That's why I filled out the application. Oh, that sounded like great legalese right there. I think we better ask Judge Demon about this one. What do you think, Judge Demon? Well, she did say that she pulled up the law thing on the thing, so seems pretty legit to me. This chick knows what she's talking about. <clears throat> well, all right. You, well, for one thing, I don't have any proof that your CIRA application is in processing. I can uh, send you a screenshot. Well, you haven't filed anything and you haven't talked to anybody. All you've file. done is check your email. Um, I did file something with Riverside. Uh, I adjourned the matter once, 30 days, which you're entitled, I am entitled to a, you're not entitled to a 30, well, you had it. You had it from June 27th or May 7th. May 16th to June 17th. We already adjourned it for 30 days. And, uh, he just keeps saying the same thing. Yeah, Karen, he keeps saying the same thing for two reasons. Number one, that thing hasn't changed. Number two, you're clearly incapable of listening to what he's saying. And they're asking that I immediately grant the eviction, uh, which is pretty heavy stuff. Uh, being that they let people run around here breaking out and I've got four kids but they'll let stay in here that destroy their apartments that makes no sense because the girl didn't like me so she kept pushing and pushing and pushing on me that's bull I went and reapplied or I went and re-signed a new lease like a week after the first time they sent me a court paper, I went and filed it or signed it. I don't know why they don't have it. I don't know what happened to it, but I signed it. I sat down there for like an hour signing papers. And at that point, my rent should have been zero. No, Karen, 
Number one, your rent should not have been zero. Your rent is whatever the rent set was, and then you would get a subsidy from a charity which would make it zero for you, not zero for them. They still need to be paid, and that is still your responsibility. Now it sucks that you got four kids and you're worried about housing at this point. I wouldn't wish that on anybody, but society can't keep footing the bill for these things, and you can't then lash out at everybody just because you're not looking after yourself and your family. That is your responsibility but they just kept adding it on and adding it on and she kept putting stuff on my door and putting stuff on my door the, i don't understand well, how it works isn't, that your amount. rent isn't zero and that wasn't raised at the be. earlier hearings um, but it should and, be zero and they haven't paid your rent and the landlord wants you to move he, is processing. I can't speed it up. You haven't filed anything that says it's in I did. processing. I Let's did. See. Let me see. The last court date we had, it was in processing. She pulled it up and said that they would try to push it through. So I did. That was on June 17th. Well, they didn't. Yeah. They haven't paid it. And it is still processing. I can't do anything about it. Well, neither can they. You haven't paid your rent. So um, you're saying, well, someone else is supposed to pay my rent. Well, they haven't paid it. I'm not saying someone else. I'm saying the application that I applied for, I can't push it through any further. I can't jump to the government and make them push it through. Yeah, I, I can. This is bull. She was just on here with us the last time and told them she would try to push it through. That's not my fault. Ms. Hart, are you willing to give 10 days? Your Honor, she's. this case has been ongoing since April. Um, that's not amendable to the complex. Um, she's, as you can see, very combative. Uh, we would just the want to one time, uh, the one time I've been on these calls for freaking four different times and I've been fine because I'm tired. I'm tired of it. They've been picking calm, and picking at me. Calm down. Yeah, she's clearly not a combative person. I get it. Sorting out rent can be very stressful. I've just recently been there myself. It ain't fun. But screaming at the people who are trying to help you is not the way forward. You didn't pay your rent. Now, I understand you were under the impression that it was going to be free. Well, it ain't. And it's on you as an adult and as a mother to ensure that you go and sort it out. Um, I'm sorry that this I is the way it is. I have been quiet the whole time this and wasn't... they don't let me talk every time. This wasn't my idea, but you're not paying your rent. You're asking the government to pay your rent. The government hasn't paid it. I don't know why they haven't paid it, but they have not. They it's also still not reached... processing. I cannot speed up the processing. It's not yes. up to me. Marvin, stop! You're not making it better for me. Uh, who's there with I have, you? I have tried and tried and tried. I've applied for stuff. i filled stuff out on the computer. All right, I've gone please. through everything they told me to go through. Now, I know you said that you tried filling out stuff. What about filling out a job application? Now, some of you might be looking at that and saying, that's pretty cruel. And she's got kids and it's hard to do. Let me be clear. A lot of people out there are doing that every single day. Now, I don't know, maybe this lady has mental health problems. Maybe she has a disability. If that were the case, I'm sure there's specific assistance for her in that scenario. Well, they didn't pay your rent. And they for that, still I'm sorry. Run! Uh, All right, this is going to be very unpleasant. Keystone has, has not responded to them. And they I have tried to communicate, to but the girl up here that they had as the manager didn't like me. She refused to talk to me every time I tried. Your motion for ex parte order to stay the eviction is denied. What you effectively got is a one month stay from June 27th to July 25th, but I've signed the writ of eviction. 
they're not even willing to give you any additional time. So they could start tomorrow uh, with evicting you. So they want you to go and they want you to go immediately. And I don't like that much. I have uh, four kids. Like I uh, can't just go. <laughs> with all due respect to this lady, I know it's tough being evicted, especially when you got four kids. Despite what another YouTuber might say, I myself have never been evicted. I also don't have any kids, so I'm not aware of how tough that would be, but I can only imagine. But here's the thing, folks. This has been going on for months and months and months now. A month ago, she had to go to court to get a stay on this eviction. That basically gives you 30 days to sort out your affairs. What's recommended in that scenario is either you come to a resolution with the owners or you prepare your ass to move out uh, I would immediately contact Keystone even if they they probably won't accept Keystone's payment because they want you to move but they have uh, drug you out here breaking out windows that's cute fair enough there may be people in that same apartment block that are causing trouble breaking out windows doing all that horrible stuff that's between them and the owners or the authorities depending on how bad it is just because people are doing that doesn't mean that you don't pay your rent it also doesn't mean that when you don't pay your rent that you don't get evicted now all in all this is a pretty horrible situation but this lady was given opportunity opportunity on top of opportunities opportunities like free rent a lot of us have to get up in the morning and work very hard to pay our rent most of you watching probably do or a mortgage again i don't know this lady's circumstances it hasn't been brought up so i assume it's nothing really that bad because if it was she would be able to use it to her advantage in this scenario you might argue that having four kids and having to pay for childcare would stop her from being able to go out and get a job millions of people the world over have to make that work every day it's not that i don't have sympathy for her i do despite her being so entitled and aggressive I do have sympathy for her, but there has to be a stopping point. There has to be a point where all of your opportunities coming again and again and again have to stop. And it seems like this is where it has. You could tell because the judge even said it himself. He didn't like having to do this, that it wasn't going to be a nice thing to do, but it has to be done at some point. Anyway, folks, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure and give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and leave a comment down below. Just hit 22,000 subscribers. So I want to thank you all so much for joining me it's been awesome if you want to support the channel in other ways you can do so by hitting the paypal link down below leave me an old tip in that tip jar or consider getting some beautiful irish demon merch we'll catch you in the next one folks slan